Hi, my name is Dr. Eric Westman, and I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. I'm past president of the Obesity Medicine Association. In these videos, we would like to discuss the keto lifestyle, introduce you to what the keto lifestyle is, and maybe the keto lifestyle is for you. There will be four parts to this series, including one addressing weight loss, one addressing type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and also how to look at a poor lipid profile. This video is about the metabolic syndrome. You may have never heard of the metabolic syndrome before. In fact, many doctors don't know what it is because it's a relatively new concept. When you look at heart risk factors, we look at the metabolic syndrome. The metabolic syndrome is a risk factor that's much stronger than even the traditional looking at a cholesterol level or an LDL level in the blood. And so understanding the metabolic syndrome and the consequences of it is extremely important. The metabolic syndrome is a little confusing because it draws together different things that might not seem related. Uh, when you look at the body itself, metabolic syndrome involves an increased body girth or abdominal girth. So the, a big waistline, in other words. The metabolic syndrome also includes several blood parameters, like a high blood glucose, but not quite to the level of diabetes. It also includes a increase in triglyceride or blood fats, and that's not often regarded as a problem by most doctors, a high triglyceride level. It also includes a low good cholesterol level, HDL being the quote good cholesterol, and many doctors don't regard that as something they can do anything about, so they don't pay attention to it much. Blood pressure elevation is also part of the metabolic syndrome, and these are the major elements, although different organizations have defined it differently. Now, most doctors understand that blood pressure is a significant problem, and will usually treat the blood pressure with medication. Most doctors will look at a blood profile and see the elevated glucose and treat that with medication. Another doctor might look at the blood cholesterol level and want to treat an LDL or total cholesterol with a medication. That's just the way doctors have been taught, basically to treat each of these independent metabolic syndrome items separately using medication. But that's not the only way to go about treating the metabolic syndrome. You can treat the metabolic syndrome with a keto lifestyle. The keto lifestyle actually treats all of these elements of the metabolic syndrome and is even powerful enough to treat type 2 diabetes, which I talk about in a different video. Uh, so if your doctor is looking at the blood and doing a physical exam, make sure that these elements are included the abdominal circumference or waistline, uh, the blood pressure, the triglyceride, the HDL, the blood sugar, and then you'll have a complete picture of whether you have the metabolic syndrome or not. And just three of the five of these elements usually put you into the criteria of having metabolic syndrome, but suffice it to say that any of these is something worth taking action about if you have an abnormality in these. So to wrap up, the metabolic syndrome is a risk factor or the cause of atherosclerosis, heart disease, uh, vascular disease, and it should be treated with either medication like traditional doctors do or with lifestyle, especially the keto lifestyle, which is the way that I choose to treat the metabolic syndrome. There are many ways to do a keto lifestyle and the approach that we use is a very simple one. You eat real foods, meat, fish, poultry, eggs. You eat a little bit of leafy greens and vegetables, keep the carbs under 20 total carbs for the day. The hunger goes away after a day or two and it's clear sailing from there. So I hope that's helpful to uh, address the metabolic syndrome, how the keto lifestyle can actually fix the metabolic syndrome and a simple way to get started. 